here we are, man. We're at Gailey's Marine in Bakersfield, California. Man, I know that you guys have a lot of boats, especially for 2020, right? You told me you had something you want me to check out. You have so many here that there's no way we'd be able to go through, but you said you had a couple that you thought were legit. So we're gonna go back there and show them a couple sure. new boats, right? Yeah, I, I figured, um, you know, one in the Moomba brand, one from Super, and one from Nautique, you know, okay. give you a little bit of- All uh, right, let's check it out, man. A little bit of versatility in what we carry. Um, I, I'd say, you know, the, the bang for your buck the last couple years has been in the Moomba Max, which is this white one here. Right here. Man, um, these things are so huge, dude. Am I wrong here? Big. I mean, it's like a wall. Stand next to that thing yeah. so I could show them like how big this thing is. Yeah, man, it's huge, right? Yeah, tons of depth to it, tons of storage. That's what we need for big wake surf waves, the yeah. ability to really push a boat down in the water. This has been a great bang for your buck type of boat. Uh, people really like it, but what I wanted to show you was the Mackay that Moomba came out with for 2019. Yeah. Um, this one is a 2020 model, and for 2020 they came out with a smaller version of this boat called the Cayenne. Uh, this particular Mackay here wow, uh, it's pretty. looks beautiful. We did the midnight blue flake on it, so it's a black yeah, color with the so silver nice. and blue flake over the top. 24 and a half foot boat, 4,000 pounds of sub four ballast big walk through over the engine compartment so wow. you're getting in and out you're not stepping on any upholstery or anything i love that flake man one cool thing about moomba is they try and keep things simple so as much as they could have made this hundred eighty thousand dollar boat that's not the purpose of this boat yeah. we do have a small eight inch touch screen display very easy to walk through the dash system just uh, a boat that it doesn't have all the bells and whistles but it doesn't need all the bells and whistles we got gps speed control we got four thousand pounds of ballast we got plenty of torque in our 6.2 liter Raptor motor, uh, flow surf system to create some killer waves, and then auto wake. So for the beginners that don't know how to set up a wave, the auto wake system will do it for you. There are sensors in the boat that will actually measure how it's leaning left or right or the pitch of the bow up and down. Right. And we can program the boat to hit the same angle we want every single time. Can I show them the inside Absolutely, real quick? Absolutely, yeah, climb yeah. up there. You know, I've seen these before. And, you know, to me, these have like the luxury of like a G23, I think, real close, you know, maybe not quite as polished as, as that, but if they feel really good. Yeah, it's, it's a great boat. It's nice and wide and deep. Um, really what Moomba does is they take the things that used to be the high end at Supra and they roll it down. So all this vinyl, two years ago, this was the high end upholstery that Supra used in their boat. Right. Supra has a new material now. They give the old stuff to Moomba. Yeah. It's, it's not a cheap vinyl by any means. It's, no. you know, some of the other, what would be considered high-end brands in the industry are using this same type of vinyl in their high-end brands. So, yeah, totally. Um, it's, it's got like a texture to it. Yeah. It's not like the smooth stuff and it's real durable. We love Moomba because it's all about bang for your buck. You know, they want to give you as much boat as you can get without spending a ton of money, you know, and, and every year they seem to get more expensive. Um, there's a lot more content in them every year. But uh, this is a great performing boat that'll get you out on the water and throw some killer wakes and waves. Yeah, and ball, without getting too specific, the ballpark pricing on these was pretty good, right? Comparable. Um, yeah, and this boat, uh, depending on options, you're going to range from about ninety-five thousand up to maybe about one fifteen if you do the big four fifty no, motor. And that's a lot pretty of good. I mean, what's a what's a new twenty-three G twenty-three going for? Uh, G twenty-three, you're going to start base boat at about one hundred fifty-five, one hundred sixty, like and go up savings, from there. Man. Yeah. yeah, huge, huge. And that's what we see a lot with this customer is they don't want all the bells and whistles. They want a big boat that they can add some extra weight in and get a killer wave and the Mackay does it all. Right, and it's a so, beautiful boat too. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you're gonna pull this on the water and people aren't gonna stop and look. I mean, it's just a beautiful boat. Yeah, big and deep, nice wide bow, surf pipe on it. Surf pipes seem to be huge these days. Yeah. Everybody wants that fresh air exhaust system. Yeah. Uh, this surf plate was um, only offered as a on a special edition boat for a few years, but this is the Flow Surf 3. And you see it has, this is the main ram that pushes this plate down. And then it has this additional ram that oh, will wow. pull this down, depending on how far this plate's going down. And what this plate is doing, it's cleaning up the face of the wave. So if, if you're used to seeing a wave that has a lot of whitewash through the lip, by forcing this tab down, it's cleaning up the face wow. of the lip. So instead of offsetting ballast a little bit to roll the boat over and clean that up, we're actually using the plate to do that so we can run as much ballast as possible. How hard is it to set that deal up? I mean, like, like how hard is it? There's a lot of options, right? A little settings. This, this plate, this ram here, 
uh, is programmed to move depending on how much this one is moving. Okay. So there's no control of this ram They here. work together. We have full control of this plate. Okay. The same with our smart plate here. We have full control of that plate. So okay. on the fly, we can adjust those plates if we want to and fine tune our wave without dumping ballast, without moving people around in the boat. So it's a pretty killer setup. How much weight are you putting on these things? Um, stock ballast in this is 4,000 pounds. Um, I like to run usually three to 400 extra pounds, uh, usually lead weight, but I run a small crew. That's know? it? This, um, yeah, I mean, depends I mean, on where you light. are, you know, but um, this boat is, is made for 17 or 18 people. So if you're running three people in it, there's a lot of displacement you're losing by not having a full load. So I like to run, you know, usually anywhere from 300 to 600 pounds, depending on how Total many weight? people I have. Yeah. Wow. And that's pretty light duty. I mean, really, I mean, some of the, you get some of the older boats, man, they're putting like thousands in well, almost each side. Yeah, our, our ballast bags will, will hold 4,000. Oh, so, they do. So on oh, okay, top yeah, of that 4,000, okay. I'll, I'll run an extra three to 600, depending on how many people I'm okay. going to have with yeah. me. Yeah. That's nice though, because then you're not using up a bunch of room in the boat, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's the downfall of older boats is that, yeah, you can have fat sacks everywhere, but you just lost all your real estate. Yeah, and you know, we, we've got a lot of guys out running these that you know, they jump on some of the other boats and they say, you know, I surfed that XT23, I've surfed the G23. Those boats are expensive boats. And if you can jump into something like this around a hundred grand and, you know, buy six or 800 pounds of lead and have a killer surf wave, yeah. you know, and, and you really don't even need the lead, but it seems like these days, most people are trying to push the boats to their limits. Yeah. We all think we want a shoulder high wave. When it comes out, it's going to crush us all and shorelines and everything else. So <laughs> yeah. I, I think waist high. What's nice enough. about this too, is because it has such a side, a huge side on it, is that you're not really in a sketchy situation like some older stuff where, whoa, man, this thing's really in the water. You know what I mean? It's like unsafe where you're not gonna be able to load this thing down enough to make yeah, it it's, unsafe. It's very difficult to take a roller over the bow or over the back end of the boat. Yeah, so. very cool. So as we move this way, uh, Moomba and Supra are the same manufacturer. Uh, Moomba is designed to be more of a price conscious kind of boat where Supra is gonna get all the bells and whistles. Um, this one was new for 2018. Great looking boat, the SL450. Uh, the one I wanna show you is the one right next to it, the SA. The SA uh, got redesigned again for 2020. So Ooh. brand new body style, brand new gel scheme to it. Wow. And this thing is killer. Uh, this is the same model that Supra runs for the Pro Wakeboard Tour and the Pro Surf Tour. They usually run the 575 Ralph supercharged motor uh, we don't need to go all that around here. So we run the 6.2 liter 450. Um, again, did the midnight blue flake on it, which is a killer looking oh, color. Kind of yeah. hard to see in here, but- The color design is unbelievable, the yeah. So, uh, uh, they raised this up, right, right here? Yes. It has this like, uh, I see it, man, it's got this, man, yeah, that's- just, just trying to add a little more depth to the boats, you know, and especially with surfing, we're in a bow high position. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times people feel like they're sitting pretty low to the water, so. Um, that little added height there just makes you feel like you're really deep inside the boat. Probably have some storage too, right? Yeah, a ton of storage. Um, this has gone subfloor ballast. Um, that is one thing that's been awesome about Supra. Every boat in the line now, except for their 20 footer, has subfloor ballast. Wow. Um, surf trunk on the rear. This has been one of my favorite features. So oh, at the yeah. end of the day, you know, you got a, a delicate surfboard. You're throwing it in the back of the boat instead of carrying it inside the boat or right. strapping it up to the tower man these are high-end too these are all like you know machine aluminum yeah everything's custom made um it all matches so the board racks the dash accents all the little hardware pieces it all matches we don't have four or five different types of metal um we got our transom camera here optional tower camera on the top wow. um, you know steering wheel controls i mean every little creature comfort you do these little grips like you know to get in and out of the deal that's even yep. man these things are almost like every little aspect that you could ever want on a boat or on these things now they're so designed over the top yeah so this has the walkthrough over the transom um uh, nautique kind of came out with that first and uh some companies jumped on it right away um uh, redesigning the back end of the boat helped because we had more room to get the ballast under the floor still gives you some storage on top um, it's got then, LCD screens right all over the place in there. Yeah, yeah this is like it's got two big touch screens on it. It's got one on, a small one on the passenger side, so the passenger passengers can control the stereo and heater and lights and things like that. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about Supra is 
Uh, it's a well-loaded boat with standard equipment. RGB yeah. lighting is standard. The power drive heated driver's seat is standard. Yeah. The camera on the back is standard. The power tower is standard. So with the Supra brand, if you really start comparing apples to apples with some of the competitors, um, a lot of that stuff that other people are charging you more money for comes standard in the Supra. Right. And uh, I've driven a lot of boats. Um, I firmly believe that these Supras are one of the best driving boats on the water. Wow. So um, I've had so many people that, oh, I'm not interested in a Supra, and then they go drive one, and they're just blown away with the performance of them. Right, and the tower is a really cool, looks like a yeah. breakaway tower. Yeah, the tower is uh, powered, which is a standard feature. It's got LED lighting here with the RGB light, wow. so you can change all that. They have LEDs in the little windshield piece here. So just a lot of really cool things that Supra offers, and it's all standard equipment. Man, look at these. Even the vents are tricked out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A really cool looking front end on this one. Um, kind of a, a pickle fork look, but not those big wide forks that yeah. stick up in your way when you're trying to serve. Well, you know what else too is like this little like curve in right here. It doesn't seem like much, but loading it on the trailer that's a big thing. Sure. Seriously, I mean that's a if you've ever had to load a pickle fork on a trailer, it can be tricky. But that little thing will help navigate it in a little bit more. You yeah, know. Absolutely. Yeah, very cool. And then you know the the uh, king of the hill right now, the boat that everybody's been gunning for, is the Nautique Super Air G23. Yeah, I mean this is like. Yeah, I would consider this is like the benchmark, right, of like what top boats can be. <laughs> yeah, uh, we thought so, and then uh, Nautique released the Paragon a few months ago, <laughs> and a G25 Paragon a couple weeks ago. And yeah. Our first G23 Paragon will be here around the 1st of February, but um, really the boat just got more luxurious is right. the big thing. And it's hard to even imagine, like, how can it, how can it, because really the G23 has been the most luxurious boat on the market, right? Yeah, yeah and you know, when we tell people it just got more luxurious, they say, well, how could they have done that? You really can't explain it when people see it and they see the dual dash screens and just the way the boat's put together and the big lounge chairs off the back, no. uh, the telescoping tower that you can lower down over the boat and wake surf with your bimini top down right over your head. It's just a lot of cool features. And, yeah. um, you know, we we will probably still have the G23 being our, our bread and butter in the Nautique line. Uh, that Paragon is kind of an elite customer, I think. But, uh, yeah. Uh, these things are phenomenal. Great surf waves, ton of push out of them. Uh, probably one of the biggest wakeboard wakes in the industry. Wakeboards. And they have a great sound system on them too. I've been on this boat a lot. One of my buddies has one, and I'm telling you, we have a lot of fun on there. And it's got everything from when you back off the throttle, the sound goes down, so it's not, you're not getting blared out. It's got a lot of cool features. One like thing that. that Nautique's been doing with the JL stereos is JL actually comes into the facility and tunes all the stereos as the boats are coming off the line. Wow. So instead of having a boat guy that they say, here's amps, here's wiring, go install it all. They actually have their technicians coming in and programming the digital amps to give you the sound that that equipment is designed to produce. And not only that, but they're not gonna have you out there blowing up all your stuff or overheating your amps and all that stuff. So like you can run it hard all day and it's not gonna tax the system. It, exactly, and that's one reason they've gone digital because a lot of people will have stereo problems and the first thing the manufacturers say is, well, send us a picture of the amp settings and they can see that the labels have been removed or that the settings have been tampered with. And then they say, well, that's on you. You know, having jail come in and tune the stereos for us, mm -hmm. it, it's perfect out of the box. Yeah. So. Well, very cool, man. I, I tell you, if you ever want to look at boats, man, Gailey's Marine here in Bakersfield, they got a huge selection. And I, I know that you, man, work with a lot of people to try to get the people into boats that maybe didn't think they could ever have one. You try sure. to help them out. I know that's one of your deals here. Yeah, so. and, and our goal is to make sure you're getting what you want. You know, um, a lot of people come in and they say they want this, but maybe it's not the best boat for them and for their family because it is. Or they can't really athletes. afford it. And that's sure. the thing too, is like yeah. the last thing you want is someone to pull out of here and then a year from now, they can't afford the payments on it and then sure. they'll never want a boat again or, you know, they'll yeah. come out. That's not what you want. Well, and on the flip side of that too, is somebody that says, you know, I don't want this. Let's start with the Moomba. Mm -hmm. And then six months later they come in and, hey, you know, we should have gone this other route. Can mm -hmm. you help me? And, uh, we'd love to sell you two or three boats, but we want to get the right one the first time. There you go. All right. So if you have any questions, call down here at Gailey's Marine. I'm sure Steve would like to talk to you. And uh, thanks for showing us those, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cool. This is Billy at Vito.